Well, the Sarnia Stings seem to be back in the game, so to speak. They won their last two games. They were down in Kitchener. They seem to like to cut it close and go to shootouts, though. Their Kitchener was 5-5 to going to a shootout, of course, winning 6-5. to Then they were back in Sarnia against the Peterborough Peets. Again, tied 2-2, to but prevailing once again, making it a final score of 3-2. to Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show this week, episode 258. Things are a little tight maybe since Thanksgiving. Well, uh, get out to the gym. But in the meantime, let's go out to the entertainment scene. This week on the entertainment scene, if you love the 80s and you like the rock, put them together and you've got Rock of Ages. Coming to the Imperial Theater, we caught up with some of the cast at Cheeky Monkey this past Friday and interviewed some of the folks involved in putting it together. Let's go to the entertainment scene right now and talk Rock of Ages. The entertainment scene is brought to you by the Station Music Hall. Visit them online at thestationmusichall.com. This week on the entertainment scene, I've been really looking forward to this. They've actually put me off because they've been so busy. We finally got them here. Rock of Ages, coming to the Imperial Theater, and we've got Carolyn Lobsinger here. Your role is? I am the director of the yeah. Rock of Ages production. That's going to be exciting for you. It is a very exciting production. It's the first time uh, Rock of Ages has been done with an amateur theater group yeah. in southwestern Ontario. So. Yeah, and you got some of the team here. Let's. Who are we talking to? I know this face. This is uh, Denise <laughs> Chalk. She's the music director. Yeah. And Bethany Takes is our choreographer. Oh, wow. That's got to be a huge job in this. <laughs> Come on over here for okay, a minute. Okay, all right. Yeah. And, and tell me, what's the big biggest challenge in uh, all of this? The biggest challenge would be um, we have different levels of dancers yeah, in okay. our production <laughs> and um, encouraging them and getting them to where they feel comfortable and look great on stage has been probably the biggest challenge. Right. So how do you overcome that? Uh, you know, just uh, making up the dances from where they're at and uh, using dynamic arms as opposed to legs. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. A little creativity A little there. creativity, yeah, Perfect. for sure. Right Denise, come talk to me. Mm -hmm. I always yes. love talking to you. Oh, I, I remember you. when you first uh, spoke, you and Dave, taking this on. Yes. Um, how much thought did you have to put into it before you said yes? Um, the time commitment is, is a huge thing, but sure. uh, it's just such an exciting uh, show that's right up Dave and I, both our alleys, yeah. and so it didn't take too much persuasion to yeah. get us to jump on board something that's so musically exciting. Yeah. And, yeah. and many would agree with you that you guys were a great choice, and uh, there's just a great team going on here. That has been the highlight for me. That was a big consideration um, for all of us, was that a uh, chance for us to get to work together, mm -hmm. and um, making, Carol and I getting to make, and Dave making our debut working for the Imperial Theatre, and yeah. yeah, so it's it's been exciting. I, I think for me that's been the highlight. It's not just the amazing cast that we have, mm -hmm. but it's such a strong directing team and such a strong crew. Yeah, yeah. great. Congratulations to you well, on that. Thank Carolyn, you. I want to talk to you one more time here before we wrap up. Uh, I want to sort of ask the same question for you as a, a director, and what, what are the biggest challenges in all of this for you? Because I, I see some cast that's been involved in things before. I see some cast that it's kind of their first time as well, so yes. that can be a challenge. Yeah, we were hoping uh, Rock of Ages putting on a, a show that's a little different from what Theatre Sarnia is used to, that we would draw in... Um, obviously some familiar faces to the mm -hmm. Imperial Theatre stage, but also get uh, a new crowd of, of rockers uh, <laughs> who this type of show would appeal to. So we've been able to do that and uh, putting to the more experienced, you know, veteran actors yeah. with some of the newbies. Uh, it's been an amazing mix. I sit through the rehearsals and my cheeks are sore because You're I've smiling been smiling now, yeah. the <laughs> entire time. They, it's yeah. been a blast. That's awesome. We were just down at Cheeky Monkey. We're going to show you some of that right now too. But uh, one thing I noticed, and I said to Dave Chalk actually, was everybody's having so much fun in the early shows. I can't imagine what rehearsals are like. Yeah, that's '80s rock. <laughs> '80s rock, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. You can't help yeah, but have okay, a good time. Right. You can say it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations well, to all you. of you. Great to see you Thanks, as well. Dave. And Thanks. good luck. Rock. Good luck. It's just going to be awesome. We were just down at Cheeky Monkey. Let's go back to the studio now and talk more about Rock of Ages and how you get your tickets for the Imperial Theater. Well, lots of fun there talking with Carolyn Lobsinger, Denise Chalk, and of course Bethany Teagues, part of putting on Rock of Ages. It's coming to the Imperial Theatre on October the 21st. Go to imperialtheatre.net to get your tickets. Thank you, ladies. I'm definitely looking forward to rocking with you at Rock of Ages coming up October the 21st. 
Well, going out into the community, do you know a young mind that's got some great business ideas or maybe they just need some help getting their ideas out there? Junior Achievement wants to hear from you and Becky Krukowski, the program coordinator for Junior Achievement here in Sarnia, is going to share a special program for those young entrepreneurial minds. Let's go into the community and talk Junior Achievement. This community segment is brought to you by AG Event Graphics. Visit them online at askguy.ca. Out in the community this week, we're going to talk some business. We're going to talk some junior achievement business and a special program that is happening. And Becky Krukowski, did I say that right? Yes, you did. Okay, I had to make sure, <laughs> right? And you're the uh, program coordinator here for junior achievement. Yes, I am. Talk to us about this special free, free program. Yeah, for sure. It's for high school students. Anyone in Sarnia Lampton is allowed to participate, right. and we encourage high school students to come out and give this program a try. Um, they collaborate together. They create their own business over an 18-week period, so they'll work in actual companies with other students, which is really cool. Wow, yeah, a lot of interaction there then. A lot of interaction. They get to make the decisions, which a lot of them have a lot of fun with. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> we do have some volunteers who advise and help out, make sure that they're on the straight and narrow, okay. but for the most part, they can do pretty much whatever they want with these so businesses. So th those volunteers, are they local business people? They are, yes. We have um, someone from the Sarnia Riding Club. We have a lot of engineers actually as well. So oh, they okay. volunteer their time and help us out with the program. Very good. So let's, I want to go back a little bit because you actually said that maybe you were kind of an alumni of this program <laughs> at one time. Yes. And um, what have you seen change though? We just talked a few minutes ago about the, uh, you know, business models have changed. We even brought up YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. How, how's that evolved here? We still run it kind of like a corporation, so that's mm -hmm. giving the students the sense of how a business runs behind the scenes because, face it, you're going to be in business when you're older, whether you're working for somebody yep. else or yourself. You're going to be um, a part of a business. Exactly. So you might as well learn those business skills now regardless of what you're going to be doing in the future. Right. Um, so we love to promote that, and then this gives students the chance to foster that entrepreneurship within themselves and maybe – take what they learn here and create their own business, whether it is doing a YouTube channel. Last year, we had some students do a podcast, for example. Yeah, great. So they are evolving with the times. We love to see what students keep coming up with, and uh, we would love for more students to join our program to see just what what cool things can happen. Yeah, what young minds, young entrepreneurial minds exactly. will bring. So how do they get involved? How do they get signed up and get in touch with you? Yeah, they can go to our website. It is jacanada.org slash sw dash Ontario. Okay. It's kind of a longer one. It's okay, but we'll put it up there. They're seeing it right <laughs> perfect. now. Perfect. <laughs> and um, other than that, they can contact us through email at info at J-A-S-W-O-N-T dot org. That sounds great. And uh, I might even pop in just to check out what's going on. Is that okay? Yeah, for okay. sure. Monday evening, 630 okay. until 9. I know I'm, I'm a little older than what you're looking for for that. Uh, but <laughs> I'd be really curious to see, though, just what uh, young minds are going to bring up. Absolutely. Yeah. Becky, thank you so much for your time here. Thank you. Junior Achievement. Hey, who do you know that might be interested in being a part of this? Let's go back to the studio now, give you all that information again, and get you involved here at Junior Achievement. All right, Becky Krukowski says, if you know those young minds, get them in touch with her, share this video and information, and get those young business minds into junior achievement here in Sarnia for their special uh, youth program. And uh, thank you so much, Becky, for sharing that information. We'll definitely follow up and see what great uh, business ideas come from the program. All right, well, as I've been saying the last few weeks, the Inn of the Good Shepherd still needs your help. They've got lots of things happening that you can give your support for. They're looking for one more team for Kick Hunger's Axe. Axe throwing. Now, you don't have to own your own axes or anything. It's here at Valley Axe this Saturday, 9 o'clock, and it's located out in the Golden Mile where the old uh, splash uh, splashdown or whatever it was called out there in the Golden Mile. Valley Axe. I've been out there thrown a few axes. I need lots of practice, but it was a lot of fun. So if you want to find out more about that, get in touch with Erica from the Inn of the Good Shepherd, and I will be out there in the afternoon doing some live broadcasting for them as well. Also, Doc Walker, I've been teasing for a couple of weeks. I'm finally going to do this, so get out to our Facebook page, The Show Sarnia and TVSN World, and keep watching for your chance to win those tickets. Once again, to go see Doc Walker coming to the Station Music Hall this Saturday night. Oh, i got to get to the gym. That's all the time i got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. I will see you next time right here on the show. Axe throwing. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>